Jak się masz? Jak się masz? Ok, we are on a day trip, our Cornish adventure and we came to a very special place. Uh, I'm gonna show you in a second where we are. Ok, so we are in a place called Tintagel and the place seems to be what is claimed the, the real uh, place where King Arthur was residing. It has apparently the real proper King Arthur castle, but not only this, it also has a very beautiful post office looking like a hobbit house. Just look at that. I took a stroll down this street in the morning, that's the main street, I think it's called Castle Street, and that place really reminds me Denmark. Nice, clean roads and not many people around. It did change a little bit right now, but it still looks clean and tidy and very organized. Just take a look. like that used to be a Masonic building at some point. It has a square and compass built at the top. We have just purchased the castle tickets. They weren't cheap. They were 20 quid 
per adult person and we're going to see what remained from the castle it already looking interesting there will be some nice hills to walk over and many beautiful views I, I presume Nice little cove and southwest coast path. So, that used to be connected.
Look at those caves down there. Beautiful. Place we just filmed. entering another bit of a castle oh look at that magnificent view on my right So everywhere here you got remains of some structures, however not always we know what is it. Even the place I'm here right now, you can see remains of the walls all over that hill. That's probably some trading post, I would assume, because down there were uh, ships coming with goods and somehow it's been lifted or transported up here. So that would be actually a very good place to store everything and exchange the goods. Oh yeah, here you can see more of those what I would assume was a storage rooms and trading posts. It's funny how they built just uh, well using available space on the hill yeah. and the walls are not straight they just the way they can be <laughs> Look, we are in I don't know what to describe it shapeless room there is no one straight angle and it has one two three four five walls I don't know <laughs> I guess that's the way you build if available space is limited. Another little place. Oh. So yeah, that's where the 
ships were sailing, I presume. And that's where all the goods were coming from. Up. Beautiful little cove and another one behind it I can see And here you can see, if you can see against the sun, if you can see against the sun, here you can see the bridge. Some old steps. <laughs> Most likely recreated by National Trust. And slowly we're climbing up. To the top of the... where the castle was, I guess. There is more trading posts or whatever else was built there. You can see each available shelf, each available space has to be used in a place like that. Oh, there is a nice cove behind that. All right, we are at the top where the castle used to be. Not many left. And they also take care of the biodiversity here, so they don't cut the grass or anything. You got natural plants growing here. Right now, plenty of bluebells. <laughs> and you can see that part of the coastline better now. You can see the second beautiful cove. Magnificent view was from the castle on the surrounding area, and every threat possible coming. You know, like we could spot Vikings for miles.
here we got the little cave going through just keep muddy <coughs> oh yeah just a tiny tiny little passage through the rocks And we have to go back. Why don't we run away? Why don't we run away? 